Hi, it's Stephen F. with another Fish Tank Thursday video. Tonight we're going to just add a little water to this tank right here. As you can see, it's pretty clear and everything. We'll be going over the gravel next week and cleaning it up and everything, maybe adding some and so forth. But the tank is pretty clear. The fish are fine. And what we're going to discuss is what I'm going to do with that tank for next week and how the glow tank is doing over here. Doing fine. And then in platy tank over there, I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing with that tank. I'll be right back with Fish Tank Thursdays. Okay, what we're going to do is add water to that tank, and only that tank, maybe a little bit to here. We're not adding water to that tank because we're going to clean that tank out next week and clean out that tank, and I'll show you and explain to you what I'm going to do. But first, let's fill that tank with water. Okay, I'm sorry for the lighting and everything, but we'll make it brighter next week. Uh, I'm getting a new light for down here. So what I'm going to do is add the water to this tank right here. Right here, this tank. I think we'll only need one. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. I believe that's it. That's it. Don't have to add any water to that tank. So next week, what we're going to do, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the uh, blow tank by taking that tank out, emptying it, and putting it in here, and filling it up halfway with water. I'll show you in a minute. But now all I have to do is feed these fish over here. I'm going to add a little water to that tank. What I'm going to do is after I do that, I'm going to feed the fish tank that's here. So I'm going to feed these guys first. There's four mollies in here. I'm going to get more. Now they're leaked. All right. Now I will show you what I'm going to do doing with that tank. But first, we'll feed these guys. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is fill the 20-gallon high tank right here. The 20 gallon high tank is over there. This is a 20 gallon long. I'm getting confused already. This is a 20 gallon long. We're gonna put water into this tank and then feed the fish. This will probably take the whole thing as well. And I need much, much more. That's basically it for that tank. Now what we'll do is we'll feed these guys right here. And I'm very sorry for the the light. Next week I'll have brighter lights in here. I'll be using my other light that's upstairs. I just didn't want to get it. I wanted to do this for you and show you the tanks. What it look like at night when I'm down here. So that's it. For this, these guys, we're going to add a little bit of uh, water conditioner for the tank. 
then I'm going to put some over there. I'll be right back. Enjoy the view. Okay, now what I'm going to do is feed these guys over here, the glow tank. Wanted to show you how nice it looks in the dark. Basically, this would be this would be the light, regular light. I'm going to feed them now. So I have one, two, three, four, five glowfish. One, two, three, four. Three and two is five. Five glowfish and about six tetras in there, as you can see. I'll bring you up closer and you can take a look at them, but first I'm going to feed them. That's what they're waiting for. That's it. Done. I'm not touching this tank because it's pretty good tonight. Next week, we take some water out. We do a water change. Do a water change on the 20 gallon tank, 20 gallon long tank, and a 20 gallon high tank. And then we take care of this tank right here in the hallway. I'll be draining the water from this and setting it up over there and show you exactly what I'm going to do. Take water from the Molly tank that's there, the 10 gallon tank and put it into this tank over there and then uh, acclimate the tank and the following week put the fish in because it's perfect. I did that with this tank and all the fish survived as you can see. That's too much fish, so now too much fish. That's too much food. They won't get fed until Sunday now. <coughs> so that's it for Fish Tank Thursdays and I'll show you why I'm changing the tank and what I'm doing with it. So without further ado, that's it for this this week. And everything is working fine on this tank. So that guy over there was had the ick and uh, where is he? This one. He had the ick. She had the yeah, he had the ick. They have the little fin on the end. So they have enough food for a while. I'm going to get some quarry catfish, one for each tank. Uh, have the catfish in there and the shark and this one. I'm not going to change that. So I will show you the platy tank and then we'll end the video. Don't forget to watch the Pond and Garden channel tonight, live stream at 9 p.m. Okay, you can see it much brighter over here. This is the, 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 the mollies, they're in there, see, round. They made friends. There's another one over there. There's four of them in the tank. And I'm going to take water from this tank. The reason I'm going to change it because make this just a, a, a quarantine tank. See this? Uh, when the water gets up to here, it leaks a little bit. doesn't leak anywhere else, but at least there. there. So i got to keep the water just below that. So right here. See this? This is the water leaking out of the tank. So what I have to do is to change this tank. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to make it a. I'm going to make this tank a quarantine tank, and I'm going to put the tank right over here. I'm going to set this tank, the 20 gallon long tank, right over here on this wall. So you see the room, what it looks like in the dark. And of course, this is my DIY station over here, which I'll be working on as well. And you'll see that on Monday. So that's it for Fish Tank Thursdays. Uh, I will see you on the next Fish Tank Thursday video. And that will be next Thursday. And we'll be setting up the tank right here. Okay. Remember, keep fishing for fish. Shop. Get the best fish you can find. You can go anywhere around. Do constant water changes. Not every week, every every other week, but take a little water out each week and add to it. 
uh, maybe twice a month, do a half a uh, thing of water changing. That's what I do. So I'll see you in the next video. Remember, go over to the Pond and Garden channel tonight, the live stream at 9 p.m., and I will see you then. Just want to show you the tanks, and I'll end it with that. Here's the 20 gallon long tank right now. Don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, ding that bell, let me know what you think of the video, and I'll see you next Thursday on Fish Tank Thursdays. Go to Pond and Garden channel and watch that tomorrow. You'll see the light, solar lights being set up and looking at them at night, and then you'll see uh, another video on Saturday. Don't forget to go to the live stream at 9 p.m. tonight, and I'll see you there. Until next time, keep fishing. Find the right fish for your pond. Trying to get the right fish for your tank. Take a drive. Go around to different shops and see what type of fish they got and go over everything. Don't forget to always ask questions about the fish that you're getting. It's always nice to know. If you keep a clean tank, do water changes constantly. Acclimate the fish. You shouldn't have a problem. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, Stephen F. signing off. Bye for now. See you next Thursday. And on the Pond and Garden channel, of course. And then, of course, on DIY Mondays and Fish Tank Thursdays again next Thursday. And don't forget to watch on Sunday with another Dollar Tree Haul on Hauling with Stephen F. Until then, Stephen F. signing off. Bye for now. See you next Thursday and on the live stream tonight at 9 p.m.